let us go ahead and try to figure out some special variations where the calculations become extremely easy for these calculations. These two forms are primary two point form and slope line form, uh, slope point form. So, when you consider slope point form, you can also consider a special case that is slope intercept form. So, this is an this is the methodology that we will use for considering slope intercept form. Before that, let me define what is an intercept. So, let L be the line with slope m that cuts y axis at point C. Then this C is called y intercept of the line L. So, what is the meaning that it cuts y axis at C? The y coordinate of that point is C and the x coordinate is 0. That means any point will be uh, that po the point that it cuts through y axis of uh, line L will be of the form 0 comma C and that 0 comma C will lie on line L. Now we have our slope point form. Instead of having any point x comma y, you have a specific point which is 0 comma C. So, I apply the slope point form or point slope form in this e expression what you will get is y minus y naught instead of y minus y naught you have y minus c which is equal to m, m is the slope of the line m times x minus x naught. What is x naught? 0. So, so, we will get y minus c is equal to m times x and therefore, I will get a form y is equal to m x plus v c. This is a standard form that we generally deal with when we are dealing with straight lines. So, you have got a slope intercept form which is of the form y is equal to mx plus c. The interesting fact is the calculations are very simple whenever you are given the slope intercept form. For example, now if you know the y intercept is at c and the slope is m, you do not have to do any calculations but straight away write this expression that is y is equal to take the slope m take the intercept c y is equal to mx plus c will be your answer. Therefore, the calculations simplify significantly when you are considering a slope intercept form. If the intercept is not available then you may have to go to that point slope form and figure out what it is. Now, there can be if the line cuts y axis the line can as well cut x axis. So, there can be another variation of this formulation that is if a line L with slope m cuts x axis at point D, then D will be called as x intercept of the line L. If D is called as x intercept of the line L, then how will my uh, how will this point lie on the line L or what are the coordinates of the line that intersects x axis and line L. So, what is the point of intersection that will be d comma 0 and this d comma 0 lies on line L. So, I will again use the point slope form of the line and have so, so if I if I want to use point slope form y minus 0 is equal to m times x minus d will be the answer. So, that will be the form y is equal to m x minus m d. So, let us try to use this and derive some uh, and solve some problems for finding the, uh, the slope intercept form or equations of the line using slope intercept form. So, typically some example like this. So, I want to find the equation of a line with slope is half and y intercept is minus 3 by 2. Remember here things are very easy because uh, you just need to know m x plus c. So, what is m? m is half and c is minus 3 by 2. So, up, up front I can tell you orally this, uh, the equation of the line will be y is equal to half x minus 3 by 2. Let us verify the result using the graphics and all other things. So, uh, here is the y intercept of this particular uh, line. So, uh, the y intercept is at point minus 3 by 2. Now, uh, slope is half. So, the equation of line 
you can easily see is half x minus 3 by 2. So, let us try to figure out what is the x intercept of this line. So, y is equal to half x minus 3 by 2. So, the x intercept of this line is 3. Okay. x intercept of so the question could have been asked that find a, uh, find the equation of a line with slope half and x intercept equal to 3. That also can be a question and the answer will be same. So, let us figure out the uh, let us see uh, what is the next question that is find the equation of a line with slope half but x intercept is 4 it is not 3. So, it is definitely not a say, uh, same line because x intercept is 4 but the slope is half. So, can you find uh, can you relate it to some of the concepts the slope is half that means the slopes are equal. We, ha we have seen that if the slopes are equal the lines must be parallel to each other. So, therefore, I can easily see that the line must be parallel to this line with some different intercept which is at 4. For this the intercept is 3. So, intercept is 4. So, what can be the y intercept can also be an interesting question. Uh, we will answer it later. For right now, let us see how we can answer that answer the question that is asked here. Find the equation of line with slope half and x intercept 4. So, according to our formulation y is equal to m x minus m d right. So, where d is the intercept that is 4 hmm? so, and this is half. So, y is equal to half times x minus 4 is the equation of this line. Right? So, y is equal to half x minus 4 is the equation of this line. You can simplify this which will give you 2 y minus x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, this will be the expression for the line. Okay. This is the slope intercept form of the line. Now, we can go to two point form that is suppose I have been given x intercept and y intercept. How will I identify the line? So, let us now go to the form of intercept that is intercept form. How to find equation of line when you have been given two intercepts x and y. So, let us formulate the hypothesis. Uh, suppose a line makes x intercept at A, y intercept at B, then naturally the coordinates of these two points are A comma 0 and 0 comma B. So, we will use two point form to derive the equation of line. So, take this point as the first point, therefore, the coordinate y coordinate is 0. So, y minus 0 is equal to b minus a b minus 0 upon 0 minus a into x minus a. So, the two point form is y minus 0 equal to b minus 0 upon 0 minus a into x minus a. Now, you divide throughout by b then if you divide through this expression throughout by b then you will get y by b is equal to minus x by a plus 1. So, because this has a minus sign shift it to the left hand side and you will get this expression which is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Now, you see how beautiful is this expression. x intercept is a. So, below x you put a, y intercept is b. So, below y you put b. Therefore, there is nothing to memorize, it is just a simple trick that x upon x intercept plus y upon y intercept equal to 1. That is how you will get the intercept form. So, it is very easy to solve the problems if you remember this trick. Now, let us take one example where uh, we need to find this. So, find the equation of line having x intercept at minus 3 and y intercept at 3. So, you do not have to do any complicated calculations, you can simply say x upon minus 3 plus y upon 3 will be equal to 1. Multiply throughout by 3, you will get the expression y is equal to I think x plus 3. Yes. So, you will get y is equal to x plus 3. Let us verify whether this satisfies because it is always better to verify using graph. 
So x intercept is minus 3, y intercept is 3, the line that passes through these two points is y is equal to x plus 3. This is what the intercept form is. It is very simple and you can uh, practice more and more problems that is all for today.